Axe is a risk taker. Oh, this is Axel. Oh, and he goes back to this. Oh, and that, that could be it. it. Oh, oh, and the double spike. Axe, no hesitation. He has devoted his life to Super Smash Bros. Melee, a game that could never be a career for anyone but the world's best. Leffen is our evil Super Smash Bros. Melee champion. And he did it with a character that everyone said would never be a winner. And a lot of people tell me, Pikachu's not good. You have to move on to a top tier, play like Falco or Marth or something. Except everyone was wrong. Up okay. smash, oh, thunder, 85, oh, he's on stage. Axe it. Is, Ax did it. He's done it. A Pikachu has won a major smash summon eight. Picking a main is a serious commitment, especially one you end up sticking with for 13 years. Something about Pikachu, like the way that I can move around with him and just how he is as a character, something about him clicks to me, and I don't know why. Axe may not have realized it at the time, but picking Pikachu as his main was a pretty bold move. See, the Pokemon was exclusively relegated to the middle or even bottom tiers of the community tier list. Pikachu, when I started him, was like kind of in the middle of the tier list, but to me, I felt like there was something really good about Pikachu that people just didn't quite get. Pikachu has a lot of problems when it comes to competitive melee. He struggles to get in on his opponents, he dies extremely quickly to some of the most common top tiers, and his short range attacks and grabs force him to take risks to stay in and secure kills. He's a glass cannon. Winning with Pikachu basically means hurling yourself at your opponent over and over again and hoping you survive. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my, axe! my god. Pikachu is a fast killer. He can kill people at really low percent um, with just a tail spike or with up smash. He has the strongest up smash in the game and his recovery is amazing. You pretty much always live with the character if you know how to recover correctly. Axe's first tournament back in high school introduced him to a world of possibilities. He didn't win, but from that moment on, he knew that competitive melee was gonna be more than just a one-time thing. One day I saw an advertisement at my high school for a Super Smash Brothers Melee tournament. And I entered, I got my butt kicked, I learned that I was really bad, and I knew that there was gonna be more tournaments. So I just, I just got hooked and I got drawn into the tournament world and that's where the whole journey began. Melee was special. It gave Axe the chance to break out of his shell and connect with the world around him. I feel like Melee is kind of like an outlet for me to express something that I can't normally express in person. You know, I'm usually more laid back. I'm pretty quiet, like to myself, but Millie's is that one place where I can just let everything out. Axe spent years grinding tournaments across the US, improving his placements and even sometimes breaking into top eights. But when the very best were around, Axe just wasn't winning. See, even then, Melee was a game dominated by a small collection of top players known as the Five Gods. Some were able to challenge them, but not Axe. He was a fan favorite, sure, and occasionally took games off of them, but he was playing a mid-tier character that just couldn't hang with the top tier, and that always meant getting eliminated before first place. Oh! What up air to down air works. He got hit by those lasers. If he would've died better and needed to hit by those lasers, he would've lived better. But 2014 marked Axe and Pikachu's transformation into a true power couple. Oh, Entertain really got spot right now. Let's see what's gonna happen. He gets the up smash. That's Axe taking it. Oh my gosh, and Axe can't believe it. He can't believe it. He moves on. Winners finals to face Hungry Box. He's playing safe, throwing out those thunderbolts. One miscue. Oh my god! Oh my god! That he was misses. almost it, but it wasn't! It's a miss! Axe advances! This man's gone wild! Arizona! Crowd is on their feet! And shortly after that, at EVO 2014, Axe made history, four-stalking Silent Wolf in under a minute. It went down as one of the proudest moments of his career. With a player as technical as Silent Wolf, the changing heights of the platforms can really do a lot at messing him up. Potential stock gets the up air tail spike and suit it down. Nice light shield. Not even trying to get shield stab as the shields do get really small. And oh. another stock. Pika two. Pika Pika. Still that zero percent. Oh, commentator's curse. We went from trouble. I think you know. Axe has been a fan of Team Rocket because that trouble doubled extremely quick. The Pikachu champ is humongous here. Oh, oh man. Silent Wolf. We've seen a lot of four stocks on this stage before. But 45 seconds, Silent Wolf might be down to his last stop. Is he going to get it before a minute passes? Well, let's see. He's right near the edge. Oh, my God. 
Destruction! That was emphatic. That was amazing. Axe was becoming more and more of a crowd favorite. But it wasn't just because of his weird character pick or his solid play. He became a meme. People started comparing him to Drake and even called him Walgreen Drake because of his part-time job. Boy, Walgreens Drake says, take care. You guys can thank me later. Memes aside though, people began to agree that Axe and Pikachu were a perfect match. No one has done it for as long as he has outside of like the gods, right? Um, with Pikachu, which is ridiculous. So. Axe, uh, I think mean, he's, he's just crazy. He's like, he's a psychomaniac, Pikachu. Yeah. There's no Pikachu that you can play against that will prepare you for him. And Axe's continued success led to a sponsor upgrade. In 2015, he joined Tempo Storm. I don't know about other people, but I'm Melee for life. I've never played another game that feels anywhere near as good as Melee. But once again, Axe was still losing to that upper echelon of players. Oh my god, he just runs Axe right in and the grabs grip. him, but he mistimes the up smash. Mango able to tech and get out of the danger zone. Okay. Now playing and, 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 and Mango up smashes Axe out Dude. of this tournament. Top eights just weren't good enough. Nothing but first place would do. Uh, I've been practicing a ton, like a lot, a lot, like just a lot of melee. You know, people that watch my stream probably see like me versus Vector Man. We're doing like some crazy, ridiculous stuff. Now, the way I practice is really weird, but that's how I play. And uh, it's just really cool to see it paying off. And this, I see this sort of as like a, a stepping stone going into even more melee tournaments. 2019 started out looking like more of the same for Axe. He had an incredible loser's bracket run at Genesis, but went out in a close three to two grand finals. Oh. Honestly, oh, what a set. I really feel like that last shot game five, right? Axe really showing his grit and his maturity, his ability to stay dialed in for such a long period of time. But that last stock, Hungrybox had way too much composure. Then at Get On My Level, he ran the loser's gauntlet again, beating some of the best players in the world, only to take second. And there it is! Mango! C9 Mango is your Get On My Level 2019 champion! Axe was playing out of his mind. He could beat anyone, everyone, but he always stalled out in grands. At least, until Smash Summit 8. The Smash Summit series of tournaments were designed to bring together the very best players in the world to compete. And this tournament was no different. Axe made it out of his group with a decent seed, but the bracket stage is where he and Pikachu bulldozed everyone. Together, they wrecked Rising Star, Zane. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so what? Oh. Wow. Annihilated their longtime friend and rival, Mango, one of the gods of oh. Melee. Oh, oh my god. god. Two tail spikes? Back with a lot of oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> he bumped his head on FOT! And brought down Leffen, considered to be the second best player in the world at the time. Ooh, he's Ooh. waiting for that. He's Ooh. waiting for a million years. Oh, he got the upper two. He got oh, the grab. The grab. Yeah. He's gonna go, there. okay, off stage. Yeah. Okay, goes for yeah. it. Got it! And Axe is Axe in grand is finals! Axe is in grand finals! Finally, they faced their last challenge, Wizrode the best Captain Falcon player in the world. Oh, oh, and up there on another, another one. one. The, reverse tail the timing. He's so good at that. Axe. He's so good at that. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hey, let's see what we Oh, 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 oh my god. Up there is into the up smash. There it is. He's going to get a grab. Here we go. Unthrow. This is what What's he's going to get here. Up okay. smash. And the early thunder. 85. Oh, he's off stage. Axe. Axe. Is your Smash Summit 8 champion? X did it! He's done it! A Pikachu has won a major Smash Summit 8! Smash Summit 8 was the first time anyone won a major with Pikachu. And it was the first time Axe won a major at all. He was overcome with emotion. I don't know what to say. I just, uh, I've been working really hard for this. And, uh, I don't know. It's just a long time coming. It's just crazy to me. Axe's historic achievement marked a new era for Melee. He'd finally proven that both he and Pikachu were championship material. My emotions are going crazy right now, and uh, I don't want this to just be the one. You know what I mean? I I, uh, I feel like there's a lot more after this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. His hard work and unfailing devotion to his favorite character helped them both achieve what many thought was impossible. But that was just one win, one step on their long journey together. Vika, Vika.
All right. All right, I'm going to get this pizza. I'm out of here. All right, man. Congrats. Congrats Axe, your Smash Axe. Summit 8. Axe. Come in. A-Z. A-Z.